welcome back to another episode of Sakura Succubus 3. Now, where we left off, AU finally decided maybe to change Yu's mind. We need to see what happens, but other than that, I'm only hoping, I'm only hoping that it gets better from here. I, that's all I'm hoping for, and I pray for that. So, let's get right into it. The next day. Now, everybody, you're probably wondering why I summoned you to the throne room so early in the morning. Oh no, not at all, your ladyship. I'd be doing anything for you. I love you. Goodness, could you be any more transparent with your trans with your treachery? Treachery? What treachery? I would never, ever betray my lady, or upset her, or make her cry. She's adorable, and I live to serve her. That is precisely what I mean. You say you love Hiro Hiroki, and then you're awfully quick to, to turn your back on him. It's like you don't care about him at all. Hazel is very fickle. <laughs> hey now, I'm not fickle. It's the exact opposite. Sure, I like Hiroki, but the lady's my queen, and I live to serve her. I love her. I mean, just look at her. She has the smooth, perfect skin, such long, black, glossy hair, such pale blue eyes. She smells really good too. Who couldn't love her? So you have been in your feelings for Hiroki already. How shameful of you. And you call yourself a member of this town? Hazel is very shameless. Her succubus outfit is more revealing than mine. And I'm a rabbit bound model. I make a living showing pictures of myself half naked online. And even I wear panties. But what's wrong with not wearing panties? They're shopping. It's not like I do it for attention or anything. Well, if you don't love Hideki anymore, that's fine. That means one less person will try to steal my boyfriend from me. <laughs> Ahem. If you were quite finished. You glowers at the assembled succubi, her arms folded across her chest. I believe I said I have something important to announce. Oh yes, I'm sorry, Lady Yu. I didn't mean to interrupt. Please, say what is you want. Whenever you're ready, I'll listen. See that you do now. I know I said I was prepared to keep Hideki in the succubus realm all to myself. Use whole blue eyes fall upon mine. But as of late, I have had a change of heart. I do not like admit such things, but in case I think I might have been wrong. What? Hazel stepped back aghast. But you were never wrong, milady. Your judgment is impeccable. It is very sweet of you to say, Hazel, but I must disagree. In the end, I am only a succubi like the rest of us, and I can err uh, too. Hifumi tried to show me the error of my ways, but I was stubborn and shellfish and refused to listen. I have been thinking, though, and I have come to the realization that my love for Hideki is oppressive. I do not think about his wants or needs. I act cruelly and unfairly towards him and the rest of you, too. For that, I must apologize. So you're actually apologizing to us? Marina raises an eyebrow. That's the first. I never would have expected it from you. It is unlike me, I know. I may glow you. You may glow all you want, but that will not change how we'll feel. I now know I cannot, in good faith, keep Hiroki trapped here. He is not a pet. He is a man I love, and I want him to live a fulfilling life. I must let him go free. And the same applies for the rest of you. I no longer wish to punish you. You may leave the Succubus Realm, and you are free to continue your prior relations with Hiroki. If that makes you happy, I cannot object. I love him, and I want him to live his life to the fullest. Ah? We can still love Hiroki? Yes, you may. What? Thank you, Lady Yu. Cosmos does 
uh, darts towards me. She wins her arms around mine and look, look up at me. <laughs> her face flustered with happiness. We can go together. You can be my boyfriend. I can be a girlfriend. We can finally live a happy ever after. Hmm. You be careful, Cosmos. Don't be too wild with him. Hideki might be your boyfriend, but he's still my cameraman. He's very important to me, and I want him in one piece. My, my. This is wonderful news. Now I can be with my dear husband once more. Thank you very much, Lady Yu. And for me, a neatly courtesy. Thank you for listening to my word of advice. I did not think you would heed them. But I suppose I should have had more faith in you. You aren't the little girl that you used to be. You've grown into quite the fine, mature woman over the years. Before I ever realized it, I am impressed by your selflessness. Truly, you are a wonderful princess. Oh yes, um, this is great news. Really great. Aren't you glad we could be together again, Hiroki? I mean, it's not like I ever turn my back on you or betray you or anything. <laughs> I loved you all along as much as Cosmos and AU and the others. I really I did. Hmm. Marina purses her lips together, her arms folded. Well, I'm not sure about that. In any case, this is quite the change. I did not expect you to revert to stay on Hedeki's captivity so quickly. Fumi is right. You have grown, you Oh, spare me the flattery. I know you can't stand me, Marina, and I didn't do this for you. I couldn't care less all, at all about your happiness. You couch, uh, <laughs> You pouts cutely. Her cheeks flustered pink as she toys with a few strands of her hair. I think she might... might uh, I think she might be quite pleased about Marina's praise deep down, but... She doesn't say that aloud. No matter how self-possessed you act, I think she might be quite bad at being true to her feelings. In that sense, she's quite like a you. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> kind of similar to that. Is that why she and a you were able to come to an understanding? I'm only doing this for Hideki's sake. To be quite honest, it still upsets me that you five are so in love with him. Seeing Cosmos cling to my head, a key turns my stomach. I don't want him to date anybody but me. These fingers, which Heather's to, were clenched to my arm, rest her throne, now relaxed. Folding one leg over the other, she says. But if it makes him happy, I might as well let him do as he wishes. I would hate to make my beloved unhappy. I adore him after all. I'm still not sure if I'm worthy of your feelings, you, but thank you. <laughs> I'm rather fond of you, too. Just fond, hmm? He raises an eyebrow. We'll have to work on that later. I hope in due time you'll be able to love me as openly and as unreservedly as you love my subjects. You have known me longer than after all. I'm... Am I not worthy of your love in the room? Do you not desire me? Well, you are pretty cute, I cannot deny that much. I wasn't a fan of that whole trapping me in the succubus room against my will thing, but if you're going to go back on that, I don't see any reason why I can't love you. <laughs> you just need to give it some time. And that's precisely why sh what we shall do. I don't mind if you want to spend time with your hair, my lucky. You get to see her eyes burning with passion, but I want to join in the fun too. I love you a lot, and this will never change. I'm being serious about this. I'll continue to ply with my love and affection until the day, until the day arrives that you can look at me and only me. Please remember, all of you. You cast a gaze at the succubi assembled in her throne room. I'll let you cuddle and kiss Hideki as much as you want, but he still belongs to me. I love him. And one day, I'll still away. I'll stay home away from you, right beneath your notice. <laughs> Prepare yourselves. This battle is Nova. The one to capture his heart should be I. <laughs> oh, she has lost her mind. <laughs> Why? 
It's dark when I finally awake. I blink up sitting upright and press a hand against my head. My temples throbbing dully and my vision skews. Ugh. I don't feel too good. Maybe I've come down with a fever? I must have been in the succubus room for too long. I have to ask you when or if I can leave. Surely being here with in such a protracted period of time can't be good for my constriction. Constitution, excuse me. I let my hand fall from my head. My fingertips brush against something, but if it isn't the smooth, silky sheets of used bed, where am I? Something rough prickles my fingertips. It's a strange sensation, but it isn't unpleasant. In fact, it's nostalgic. I remember it. This is... Tatami? My brow furrows. This is very odd. Used palace, as far as I can recall, is decorated with... in a western manner. The floors are all... plush carpet and s or smooth cold marble. This shouldn't be any tatami mats. Is this really tatami? I must be back in Japan. If I'm in Japan, that means... I reach above my head, groping a light switch. I catch it before my finger, between my fingers and pull, and the room floods with light. It's so bright, I have to blink white spots from my eyes. My head continues to throb, but it's a dull ache now. I glance around and, ah, a small gasp falls from my lips. As I expected, I'm back in Japan, in my own apartment. I'm back. I'm really back. I can't believe it. This must have been how Dorothy felt when she finally got back to Kansas. <laughs> Good reference. My apartment's small and cuddy yet, but at least it's mine. I pay for what I pay for my lo lodging with my own wages, and within these walls, nobody can tell me what to do. I'm free. I shake the worst of my fatigue off and then rise to my feet. I stretch and then cross the room to look out the window. The sky is full of stars, and the moon is round and full. I could see the roofs of houses in the distance and the trees swaying in the breeze. The gray sidewalk looks dark, almost black, and the street lamps flicker, attracting flies. I don't live in the prettiest area of Tokyo, but my heart swells to see it all the same. I'm finally home. There's really no place like it. I open the window, let the cool airness caress my face. It feels good after stiff environment of the succubus realm. Now, I'm so worked up I can't sleep. I ponder what to do for a few moments while enjoying the air when... Who could that be? Huh? I come away from my window, my brow furrowing. Somebody's rapping upon my bedroom door, but who? It seems strange to have any guests at this hour. Uh, weird. Um, it's either Hazel, Hifumi, or anyone else. Hazel, specifically, if she was willing to apologize after what happened. Hifumi, if she's coming back for her trip. And Marina, if she's going through. And mostly Cosmos, but I just can't see anything else. It's probably you, but... Isn't she supposed to be staying in the succubus realm? That's where my concerns start to come in. Like, shouldn't be, shouldn't she be in the succubus realm by now? I don't think she would be leaving after we just left. That would be weird as hell, but we'll see. I exit my bedroom and then walk through the kitchen. Gingerly, I open the front door and... It took you long enough. I've been so worried about you. Who the fuck is this? How dare you make a lady wait? You? Please tell me, Hideki, you idiot. Wait, what? What the hell is this? Oof. Something very pink and freely bowls into me the moment I open the door. It's fucking AU. What is she doing here at this hour? 
I stagger back, winded in the gas of, for breath. While I struggle to maintain my balance, the door slams shut behind me. I'm alone in my apartment with this interloper. It clings to me, fingers fisting against the front of my shirt. When I look down, my gaze is met with a pair of large violet eyes. Violet. Wait a minute. That isn't AU, is it? Shit! Because AU doesn't have those type of eyes. Violet eyes. Violet, 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 violet. Ah, shit. I can't figure out who that is. It's... It is AU! Jesus, I was right! What's she doing here at this hour? But goddamn, you look cute, honey. Goddamn. AU? What else did you think it would be, you dummy? AU pouts. She's wearing a regalia of an idol, complete with a little hat. Her body feels warm against mine, perhaps because her face is so flustered. Or flushed, if you want to be specific. <clears throat> her forehead beads with perspiration. Despite the coolness of the night, she doesn't pause to brush it away. She sounds out of breath. Did she run all the way here? Hey, hey you! I'm muttering my voice, hoping it make it sound gentle. I don't know what exactly is wrong with AU, but the one thing is certain, she is in quite the state. Are you alright? Of course I am not alright. Do you even need to ask? I was so worried about you, Hideki. You idiots! You moron! You were? Yes! You might have promised to bring us back to the human realm, but I don't trust her. She's horribly clingy and jealous, and I know how much she loves you. I am terrified she will still be trapped there. Only I would be there in Japan, and I would no longer be able to help you. Ah, I see. I smile at you, then wind my arms around her waist. Holding her close, I peer into her eyes and say, Did you run all the way here to see me? That must mean that you care about me a lot. Really, I'm really happy to hear that. What? What? No! AU's face bursts. Uh, sorry. AU's face blushes furiously. She tries to take a step back, but my arms are still ensnared about her waist, thus preventing her escape. Trembling from tip to toe, she glances away. Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> that is so cute of you. God damn, girl. What the hell? <laughs> oh, man. Her self-righteous anger begins to fade. Now she looks embarrassed. Her brow furrowed. <sighs> her lips pulled into a pout. I didn't come here because I cared about you. I just wanted to ensure that my hard work wasn't for nothing. It would be a pain if I put so much effort into trying to save you only to have it throttled by the double-crossed princess. That's really the only reason why I'm here. My heart doesn't skip a beat when you hold me. And I'm s and I certainly don't love you. Oh yeah? You could have fooled me. I lean in close to you until our lips are inches apart. Maybe. Well, sorry. Well, maybe if you don't love me, but I'm very fond of you. It's because you that I was able to escape from the succubus realm. Yeah, we really have to thank you that for that, uh, AU. We really have to thank you for that. Without your quick thinking, I might still be trapped, so thank you, AU. I really do appreciate it. Well, of course you do. That's how it should be. This isn't every day a popular idol like myself goes out of her way to help a peon like you. You should be kneeling and bowing at my feet. <laughs> Would you like it if I did that? I grinned, twinning a few locks of her hair about my fingers. Are you sure you, won't get, you wouldn't get embarrassed? Maybe that would be a bit too much, yeah. It'd be kind of gross having an uncool guy like you with at my feet. I guess if you really want to thank me, it's fine if you hold me like this. 
I can allow this much. If you want, um, you glance down at her feet. Her face is an adorable shade of crimson. You can even kiss me. I wouldn't be opposed to it. I'm just... I need to check whether this is really happening at this is dream, so on. She looks back to me, her eyelashes trembling. Her body is pressed close to mine. I can hear her heart beating in a short, sharp staccato excuse me, inside her chest. She's so cute when she's going to make me blush. Would you mind kissing me? Of course not. Your wish is my command, my princess. I dip the used chin upon my index finger, and then it inches our lips even closer. I kiss you many times as you want. Oh, hit a king. She sighs as her lips meet her. Her body particularly mounts against my own. She offers no resistance. Even I n her lower lip with my teeth. Cute moans and sighs fall from A.U.'s mouth. She's being unusual plight. Plaint, excuse me. I don't know how to say that. She's being unusually plaint. A bit of change of her usual attitude. But it makes me... It makes a welcome change. When you get past her prickly outer exterior, Ayu is really adorable. Thank you again, Ayu. <laughs> I brought my mouth from hers and offer her a smile. It's good to be back. A few days later... Oh, Havumi! Would you care for a drink? I brewed some teas if anyone would like some. Tea sounds wonderful. Thank you, Havumi. I prefer hot chocolate, though. Hot chocolate? Ayu wrinkles her nose. What are you, a little kid? No, I just have my own preferences, like all adults do. I know there are things you don't like either, Ayu. You always act like you're so mature, but I know you can't stay in black coffee, and you don't like eating green peppers. Mm. My, my, is that so? You must learn to eat your peppers, Ayu. You'll never be able to grow big and tall. I am tall enough. It's not like I want to be a great hawking gigantess like Marina anyway. Now where's my tea, woman? I'm parched. Jump, jump. <laughs> I'll get right on it. Hmm. You shouldn't boss a Fumi around like that, A.U. She's my advisor, not yours. As a ruler of the succubi, I am the only one who can issue orders. Maybe that is true in the succubus realm, but we are not there right now, are we? No, I suppose not. You relent? This is true enough. Ever since you let us leave the succubus realm, I've been trying to get the back. Get, uh, I've been trying to get back to swing of things. My boss was upset that I missed a few days, but I was able to form him off by saying I had some sort of illness. I'm not sure if he bought it, but he didn't fire me, to my immense relief. Since then, my days have passed as in an ordinary, most monotonous manner. A few weeks ago, I have found a daily grind incredibly dull, but I stand grow I've since grown to appreciate it. I even enjoy community to work on the cramped train, even though... Even, sorry, yeah, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm having a hard time speaking. I've, in, I've, oh God, I've even enjoyed commuting to work on the cramped train, though being elbowed in the gut by random businessmen does take some of the fun out of it. In a couple days, I've been able to regain my normalcy when I once lost. I've been enjoying it. But the scene in the apartment this evening is anything but normal. Anyways, I made a few cups of tea. Here's your drink, Ayu, and this is for you, Hiroki. Thank you, Hifumi. Da I have another cup of tea for you. You and this hot chocolate for Cosmos, but... <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck just happened? I'm, I'm gonna stop it here. 
because I didn't think that this was gonna happen. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. I'm I'm gonna wait until the next episode for this. <laughs> I didn't think that this was gonna happen. But yeah. <laughs> it's been said guys. Later. My